Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Um, lately I've been really interested in playing and watching cricket. And if you know me, um, you know that I often like to combine my hobbies. And that's exactly what I've done with cricket. Um, I've essentially designed stumps or wickets that will light up upon impact of the ball. And they're also spring-loaded so that you don't have to be constantly um, hammered into place. A wicket is essentially like a strike zone in baseball, but it's a physical object. Um, anyways, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, Duct Tape Mechanic, for more tinkering and DIY videos. The first step is to cut three inch and a half PVC pipes to 28 inches of length. I cut a one by two foot rectangle out of scrap plywood to make the base of the stumps. For the next step, I bored out two 90 degree angle brackets so they would fit the half inch threaded rod that I'm going to be using for the wickets. Next, I screwed in the two angle brackets into the base plywood. I made sure that they were centered so that when the wickets are installed, or when the PVC pipes are installed, they are 9 inches across as this is the official wicket width. Next I drilled a hole in all three PVC pipes. Uh, this is where a drill press really comes in handy. Next I threaded a half inch by one foot threaded rod through the PVC pipes and the angle brackets to secure the pipes to the board. I attach springs to the base of each PVC pipe using hook screws. This will allow the wickets to return to the original position after being struck with the ball. Next, I attached a SW420 vibration sensor to the base. I later found out that Velcro works a lot better for attaching this sensor because it helps eliminate some of the noise. Next, I mounted the remaining electronics, including the Arduino, the 5-volt relay module, the 9-volt battery to to power the Arduino, the 12 volt battery pack to power the LED lights, and the flasher relay. Then I took some 12 volt red LED string lights and evenly wrapped them around the wickets. Then I completed all the wiring to the Arduino and the relays and the lights. I will provide the code to the Arduino in the comments section below just in case if anybody's interested. Okay, so I've gotten the wiring completed and I did the best I could for tidying it up a little bit as I used some staples to hold down the wire and uh, I braided some of the wiring here and I went into the wicket making a hole here and making the connections to the LEDs. Um, the way it works is that this vibration sensor, when it, sends, when it senses vibration, it makes a digital output of high. So when, it's, when it's, there's no vibration, it sends a, a low signal to the Arduino, and, and when there is vibration, it, it puts a digital output of high or, or one if you use the binary system. And the Arduino is hooked to a, a relay, which is hooked to the flasher relay which makes the LEDs flash. Um, they use these in um, turn signals for motorcycles. So then the, it'll once the sensor is triggered it'll flash for 10 seconds and then it'll reset. I found that this sensor is is very finicky and uh, there's a little set screw 
or there's a little screw on top which you can adjust the sensitivity and uh, if you you've got to get it right otherwise once it turns on it can have trouble turning off so and I've also found that it works well on when it's secured down by velcro um, I think the velcro absorbs some of the shock and helps it get um, helps the little ball inside the sensor reset so once we the ball once the ball hits the the wickets here the lights go off for 10 seconds and then they should automatically turn off after 10 seconds there we go here's how the wickets performed in a heavy competition environment as I take off like Imran Tahir, my nephew is clearly not amused. My turn to bat clearly proved that I'm not the Babe Ruth of crickets. 